We talked about this film earlier in the week with Nick Swartzen, who accused this man of being so um, uh, adverse to, to jogging that he insisted they do a fast walk during a take of this film that the director stopped in the middle. Um, so there's some controversy on the set, right, Chris? There's some controversy. Uh, for sure. And you know this man because the mother of your child, Sarah Tiana, uh, has done much producing, writing, reporting for this man's work. Indeed. The star of The Wrong Missy on Netflix, our friend David Spade back here. How are you, David? Woo! <laughs> Rich the Richmeister! <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, here's another one. Wait. What about this? Yes. Richard Eisen? What's that from? Um, my fourth grade teacher saying, where's your homework? No, it's from in Tommy Boy when he goes, Richard Hayden? No, it's... <laughs> Richard. No, that's a deep one. That's a deep one, but playable. That's got deep cuts. It's not even real, but, you know, I just changed it. Uh, hi, Rich. How What's you up, do- buddy? How are you, David Spade? How are you? I like that that little pork pie Swartzen was making fun of me. <laughs> well, he said that a scene in The Wrong Missy called for you to jog around a pool. Uh, you said to him... <laughs> Before action was called, let's do a slow, let's do a fast walk. Your director it's so basically. True. It's so true. This is a true story? Yeah. Well, Listen, Rich, I don't come off the blocks like I used to. <laughs> uh, there's a reason I'm not at the combine and you are. Okay. I make more money uh, doing funny movements. I don't really, and eye rolls. Yeah, we were doing it. And I got a bad neck, and I realized I don't even run anymore. And, and they go, you sprint around the corner. And first first and more realistically, I go, listen, I'm not doing 50 takes of sprinting. All right, let's 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 keep this within reason. So let's do a – not even a slow jog. I started with slow jog, and then I downgraded to a fast walk. And he goes, dude, we're running. That's the idea. And I go, I know, but there's – I had to make it make sense, actuary. I go, well, because everyone's looking at us, they're going to think something's wrong. You know, the character. So we have to be like, hmm, we're in a big hurry. We're just going <laughs> to go across campus here. And he just rolled his eyes. I was like, Nick, come on, man. Play along. There's, no one's looking at this movie for realism. <laughs> By the way, I saw someone goes, I saw something on Twitter, and they were like, yeah. Ron Missy is trending, and uh, the critics are split. I'm like, yes, that means somebody liked it. <laughs> So you don't mind the split critics. That means... It- no, because that means 50% liked it. Because, you know, listen, I love the movie, and there's... Listen, it's number one right now. That, that's great, but, but you know that the critics are never, like, going out of their way to say how great these movies are. I like it. So one day you wake up, you're like, if all the tomatoes are not rotten, I'm in good shape. Right? That's pretty much it. That's the way you're... Right. Going. I think the best tomatoes I got... Yes was maybe on the do-over, and I think it was nine. <laughs> and then it's going to keep me out of the All-Star game. Uh, and then <laughs> yeah. I think Jack and Jill, we got minus two. I don't know. Come it, on. It, it, grown-ups had to have at it, least a 90 tomatoes. I mean, they got to have a lot of tomatoes for grown-ups. We could go on and on about it. Right. There was. By the way, this is the first time I've been in a movie that, well, number one is different on Netflix than in the real world of the world, but... Grown Ups was the last one, and that was probably... Yeah, Grown Ups 2 was number one. Yeah, so yeah. that was, you know, I don't know, five years ago. That so, works out, David. Listen, I'll, I'll take whatever I can get. David Spade, Netflix is the wrong missy. Check it out on Netflix right now. Um, so have you, have you seen it? Have you seen a preview of it? I look like Bob Costas for some reason. So um, <laughs> I have seen a preview of it, David. Uh, yeah. The, the Costas thing didn't come to mind, though. What, what, what makes you look all Costonian? You think well, Costasian. I, uh, I dyed my hair dark brown, and I gave okay. myself little bangs, and I didn't mean to, but I look a little like Bob Odenkirk and Better Call Saul. Okay. I've heard I look a little like Costas, and I look a, bit, a little bit like myself as a doofus. I also shave, which I'm terrified of. Yeah, that is, that is, that's jarring. That's a little jarring. It's jarring. People don't get how jarring it is, and they do. They see me, and they go, they, they go, you either look 20 or 90. <laughs> I go, I know. I'm. That's why I'm sickened by it. I had a girl once go, why do you have that stupid mustache? I go, you think I want this? <laughs> I look worse without it, if you can imagine. She goes, there's no way you can look any worse. I go, oh, yes, there is. Mm-hmm. And I show her a clip from the wrong message. She's like, oh.
Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.